So recently, people have been asking me, do I need to download Microsoft Teams to be able to join a meeting? And well, the quick and easy answer to that question is no. You can, of course, just click on the link that they've sent you and join in a web browser. However, if you do install Microsoft Teams, it makes the experience just that little bit easier and better. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download Microsoft Teams and install it on your Windows machine. Let's get started. Okay then, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna come over to google.com here and we are going to search for Microsoft Teams. It's quite straightforward, it seems quite simple, but it gets you exactly what you need, okay? So you can see here, it's got the a kind of autofill. We find Microsoft Teams here. I'm just gonna hit enter on that and it's gonna bring this screen up here, okay? So from here, the Google, uh, we have Microsoft Teams and you can see straight away that you've got the download function. Now, one of the key things here to know is there's actually two different versions of Microsoft Teams. You've got Microsoft Teams for the home, that's like a personal account. Account. Then you've got Microsoft Teams for kind of work or school, which is more like a corporate account. Okay, so depending on the different, uh, or at least on your needs, you might want the home version or you might want the kind of work school version. Okay, so we're going to come into here. We're going to click on the download button here. Uh, this is going to load up the download screen for Microsoft Teams. Let's give it a second to kind of load. And here you can see it says download Microsoft Teams for Windows. As you kind of scroll through here, you can also get it on the mobile by scanning the QR code. Um, and down here, you can obviously got different kind of versions as well, right? So choose the right plan for you. Now, it all depends on whether or not you are using this for work, for school and different kind of functions. And obviously, if you are looking at this from like a, a work point of view, a corporate point of view, they should pay for your license anyway. Um, but you can see here, you've got business, you've got home, which is free, and then you've got enterprise, okay? So for the most part, most people are going to be looking for how do you download it for uh, the business, right? And you've got the essentials package here, right? It's basically $4 per user per month and it's paid yearly. Or we can do the home version, okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way up to the download area because we only want to download this. We're going to click on the download button. That's going to basically bring up our... Uh, download functions here and we're just going to go ahead and save it into our downloads folder and it's going to basically add it as a pop-up here okay so straight away we've downloading the Microsoft Teams okay now once it's downloaded what we can do of course is go over to our downloads folder and run the exe which is the executable file I'm just going to go ahead and run that now I already do have Microsoft Teams installed so we'll see what this does I think it's probably going to just uh, come up as a uh, as you can kind of see here it's downloading Microsoft Teams it's probably just going to and I'm going to minimize that so we can just see this on the screen it's probably going to tell me I've already installed it and I can either repair it or just cancel out the the installation but for anyone else who is kind of new to installing this it's not already installed then you're going to have several options we'll see what it comes up with in just a moment here and downloading Microsoft Teams is going to depend on how fast your internet connection is it should only take a few minutes uh, so I'll be right back when it is done okay and just like that we now have Microsoft Teams now because I already have things set up and sorted um, in terms of like already installed on the computer. I have this already sorted. Um, but if not, then you'll be able to basically create an account, log in with your Gmail if you want it for personal use or use, um, you know, a corporate work address, email address and sign it up that way. But ultimately, that is it. That's how you would go ahead and uh, basically download Microsoft Teams on your Windows laptop or desktop computer. And so guys, it is as easy as that to essentially download Microsoft Teams onto your computer. Now, there's different ways of doing this. I obviously chose to go down the Google route, just Google Microsoft Teams, find the download button and do it that way. The other way, of course, is to actually go to office.com, log in via your work and corporate account there, and then download the applications from there. There's also an app that's usually pre-installed on Windows machines called Office. You can find the Office uh, application, you can log into it, and then from there you can also access Microsoft Teams. There's a quite a few different routes to go down, but I think the most accessible way is to hit Google, search up Microsoft Teams, and basically download from there. Hopefully you found this useful and informative. If you did, consider subscribing and hitting that like button for me, and I'll catch you all in the next one.